Good morning, everyone. I'm Susan Friedman, president of the Public Art Fund, and on behalf of Jill Krause, our board chair, and the entire board of the Public Art Fund, I welcome you all here today to the press pre preview for Tatsunishi's Discovering Columbus. I'm thrilled to be joined by Mayor Bloomberg, City Council Member Gail Brewer, my mentor and my friend Patty Harris, First Deputy Mayor, Cultural Affairs Commissioner Kate Levin, President of the Central Park Conservancy Doug Blonsky, our welcome to our new Parks Commissioner Veronica White, and we are here to mark a moment in the history of uh, New York City's cultural life. As you can see behind us, artist Tatsunishi has surrounded the iconic Christopher Columbus Monument with a temporary structure. In fact, a, a contemporary living room. Supported by six stories of scaffolding, Tatsu has built an international reputation surrounding monuments and architectural details with domestic spaces like the one you see behind you. After constructing these transformative works on four continents, Tatsu created one of his surprising dramatic projects here in the heart of New York City. Discovering Columbus will give us a new way to see and experience New York. It will capture our imagination and give us a lens through which to see the city. I believe that this poetic and whimsical installation will forever change our relationship to this historic monument and the center of New York. Public Art Fund is, <coughs> Public Art Fund is delighted to bring Tatsu's imaginative project free of charge to the public beginning tomorrow through November 18th from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. Free timed passes to see this extraordinary work are available at publicartfund.org or by visiting our information desk on the third floor of the shops at Columbus Circle. At the conclusion of remarks today, I invite you, the press, to Bouchon Bakery at Time Warner Center, also on the third floor, where Bouchon is generously providing coffee and pastries while you wait to visit Columbus. Now, it is a true pleasure and a privilege to introduce a visionary mayor who clearly believes in the power public art plays in making New York City great. This project would not have happened without Mayor Bloomberg. Your commitment to the arts sets a tone throughout every city agency, and as a result, the city has been an incredible partner in this unique and unconventional project. Through your administration's strong commitment to the arts and culture, artists have been inspired to use New York City as a backdrop for unexpected and dynamic projects. Their work changes the way we see the world around us and reminds us that creative genius knows no bounds. I am also so grateful that you share our conviction that the arts revive the spirit, challenge the intellect, and stand as the measure of the health and vitality of any civilization. Thank you, Mayor Bloomberg, for helping us realize Tatsu's dream. Discovering Columbus will give us a, way, a new way to discover New York. Susie, thank you. Your mother would be proud. Uh, and thanks to the Public Art Fund, which she founded, and the world-renowned artist uh, Tatsu Nishi. Now, I thought about giving this talk in Japanese so that Tatsu would feel at home, but sometimes my accent's a little funny, and so those that really want classic Japanese, I thought I would not do it. But uh, see me later on. I'll be happy to uh, give you a little bit of a sample. Uh, we want to thank Tatsu for giving us a chance to follow the example of Christopher Columbus and embark on a little exploring ourselves. Uh, this monument went up in 1892, which, if your math is any good, was the 400th anniversary of Christopher Columbus arriving in the New World. And uh, now for the next eight weeks, we're invited to the open house, a contemporary living room that now sits atop the column behind it. I was visited yesterday, I just visited again. It is really interesting, it's different, and it gives you a chance to get up front and close to uh, somebody that really had an enormous impact on the world. Uh, the view and the artwork will knock your socks off, as they say. Uh, being there is an exhilarating once-in-a-lifetime chance to take, in, to take in some of New York City's busiest streets and the busiest park uh, from an entirely fresh vantage point and with uh, entirely new eyes. 
you'll also get a chance to uh, close up, see a statue that really is an icon in our city, yet one that none of us alive today have ever seen face to face, that is, up until now. This is an exhibition that reveals New York in original and surprising ways, and that's a big part of the mission of the Public Art Fund. Since 1977, it has brought dynamic, contemporary, and free art to streets and public spaces throughout our city. Uh, public art that challenges us, public art that entertains us, public art that is amusing, public art that is absorbing, and public art that makes us laugh and think. And now, marking its 35th anniversary, the Public Art Fund has presented projects of more than 500 different artists. And it's a great tradition in our city, started by the Public Art Fund's founder and Susie's mother, Doris Friedman. And I do want to commend the city agencies that have worked so hard to make this exhibition a reality. The Department of Cultural Affairs, Commissioner here. Department of Buildings, Commissioner here. Department of Transportation, Design and Construction, NYC and Company, the NYPD, the FDNY, and the Public Design Commission, all of whom are cooperating with the MTA and the Central Park Conservancy. And our Parks Department Commissioner, this is your first time you have exhibited Christopher Columbus up, and I might point out that your predecessor never did. Never did. Uh, we put on this coordinated effort because exhibitions like this are important to our city. We know that almost half of the more than 50 million people who visit New York each year come here for our cultural attractions, including exciting public art exhibitions like this one. Culturally minded tourists, let me remind you, contribute something like $21 billion to our economy, and we expect that Discovering Columbus exhibition will help attract thousands more of them to New York City. And even with the combined efforts of so many public agencies, I will say it was extremely generous private support that ultimately made uh, Tatsu Nishi, Nishi Discovering Columbus possible. So I want to acknowledge the generous lead sponsors of the exhibition at Time Warner, uh, the related companies, Steve, thank you, and uh, Bloomberg. And I want to thank Tishman Construction for the extraordinary work they put into mounting this exhibition. Let me also point out that the scaffolding erected to support this exhibition is being used for much needed conservation work on the 120 year old Columbus Monument. And it probably would have been a lot harder to raise money just for the restor restor re restoration uh, of this statue. But by combining it with art, it really is a great chance to do both things that we need. So I encourage all New Yorkers and visitors to our city to make a point of discovering Columbus this fall. Let me now turn things over to the director and chief curator of the Public Art Fund, Nicholas Bohm. Nick. Thank you so much, sir, for all your amazing support. You know, I think one of the most important and also difficult tasks that an artist has is to reveal something that we think we already know. Millions of people pass through Columbus Circle, but how many could describe the statue at its center. Tatsunishi has given us a chance to see something very familiar from an entirely new perspective. But what makes Tatsu's work even more compelling is the context that he creates. We don't simply see the artist's project, we actually experience it. He plays with our perceptions of scale and location, bringing the outside inside and making intimate what was once distant. He takes us on a journey up a few flights of stairs that leads into another world, a fictional apartment that's at once surprising and familiar. A typical domestic space with all the comforts of a modern living room where a 120-year-old, 13-foot-tall marble statue of Christopher Columbus happens to be standing on the coffee table. In this way, Tatsu makes a fantastic leap of imagination and invites us all along for the unforgettable ride. We're immensely grateful to the many individuals, foundations, and corporations that have supported the project. It could never have been realized without the support of so many who are as captivated by Tatsu's project as we were. In particular, our heartfelt thanks to our lead project sponsors, Time Warner, Related, and Bloomberg for their visionary support and partnership. As the mayor noted, 
each of the city agencies has worked tirelessly with us to make this happen along with our terrific construction partner Tishman. It's now actually nearly three years ago that we first invited Tatsu to develop a project for New York City, his first major installation in the United States. When he came up with the idea to create a living room around the statue of Columbus 70 feet in the air, quite a few people thought it was, how shall I put this, far-fetched. Well, uh, with Tatsu's inspired vision, the extraordinary collaboration of the city, the terrific generosity of our supporters, and the remarkable skill of our project team, the artist dream is now a reality. After 120 years with only pigeons for company, Columbus is finally getting a taste of the American dream. His own apartment overlooking Central Park with a housewarming for 100,000 of his closest friends. Don't miss out. Book your tickets now. Uh, Nicholas, I can tell you the uh, first time Patty described this to me, I got it instantly. I said, absolutely. I was thinking about doing the same thing myself, actually. Uh, let me turn the floor over to the man who had the vision to give Columbus his very own living room. Um, its creator. Uh, he is his, actually, his English is not bad at all. English is a lot better than my Japanese, that's for sure. Uh, Tatsu Nishi. Tatsu. Uh, thank you, Mayor Bloomberg. Uh, and thank you for all who are coming today. I am so happy to have my work in New York City. Uh, my project is not only for art fans, but for everyone. For you, for you, for you. Uh, it is a dream come true for me. I hope you will all enjoy it. So, え、日本の、え、取材の方、あるいは観光、え、観光客の方、ただの野獣馬な、野獣馬の方、え、今日は来ていただいてありがとうございます。あの、皆さん楽しんでください。Thank you. Tatsu, thank you and uh, welcome to New York. Now, before taking questions, let me just try to summarize today's announcement for our Spanish-speaking New Yorkers. Uh, desde mañana habrá un nueva exhibición gratis en Columbus Circle llamada Descubriendo Colón, que permitirá a los visitantes subir hasta la parte superior de la estatua, estatua de Cristóbal Colón. 